Hello everybody, it's Sheltek and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to take a look at this wireless headphone. This is the JLab Studio Pro wireless over ear headphone. It's got faux leather form fitting ear cups, flexible cushion headband, a universal mic with volume contract controls and three EQ settings. But is it a good deal of $40? And what are its other features? So I'll do a quick unboxing, set up, check out the main features of this wireless headphone and whether it's worth it to you to pick one of these up for yourself. And this is it, the JLab Studio Pro wireless over-ear headphones. So let's open up the JLab branded baby blue box and take a look at what we get. Now opening up the box and sliding out the contents, we have on top a one page quick start guide. The folded up headphones themselves just behind the headphones inside the cardboard is a short blue USB-C to USB-A charging cable. So all in all, you're getting three things with the Studio Pro, the headphones, a charging cable, and a quick start guide. JLab really keeps their products minimal and uncomplicated, so you should be able to get your headphones working quickly. Okay, so my first impression when I picked up this headphone is it feels pretty good. With JLab branding on the band, side, and on the ear cups, I find it blends in nicely and not over the top like some other brands. This feels like an inexpensive but not cheap headphone, which I expect at this price point. No, it doesn't feel like a higher price premium brand such as Beats or Bose, but I generally like this construction and it should hold up over time. The foldable ear cups is convenient for storage and the slidable expandable headset should fit the widest of heads. The ear cups themselves have a hard plastic outer shell that doesn't pick up any fingerprints and seems durable to the touch. JLab uses these form fit ear cups which are ergonomically shaped to the natural outline of your ear. The one inch cloud foam cushions is wrapped in faux leather and are soft and comfortable. Although I don't know how long they will remain comfortable through long periods of continuous use or if they will crack and break over time. A thin blue cloth covers the speakers themselves. Two minimal control buttons are on the back of the right ear cup which controls your volume, tracking, power, Bluetooth, and a USB-C port is on the bottom with the power light and a mic on the front of the ear cups. The JLab Studio Pro is charged through its short USB-C cable, which I did wish was longer. I still don't know why companies insist on these short USB cables, it just doesn't make sense. It charges the 400 milliamp battery, which takes about three hours to fully charge, and this will give you over 50 hours of playtime with 400 hours of standby time. A rapid charge is available after 10 minutes, which will give you one hour of playtime. The red light will come on when charging and turn blue when at full charge. The two side buttons on the ear cup are the only physical controls and have multi-functions. Hold the power button for a couple seconds will turn on and off. Clicking on the power button will also play, pause, answer, and hang up calls. Click and holding for one second will reject any incoming calls. Clicking twice will also activate your Siri or Google features on your phone. You also use this button to start Bluetooth pairing. The plus or minus volume control on top is used to cycle through the Studio Pro Custom EQ3 sound settings. Pressing the plus and minus together with one beep will enable the JLab signature sound with amplified bass and vocals. Pressing again after two beeps will produce a balanced sound with no audio enhancements. Then pressing a third time or three beeps will give you a bass boost with amplified bass and sub bass. This is my favorite mode as I like a lot of bass in my music. And then you have the basic controls of volume up and down, track forward and backward by click and holding two seconds or more the plus or minus signs. So talking about the overall comfort of these JLab headphones, it feels okay. It's got an over the ear design that means your ear will fit inside the ear cups instead of being pinned by them. As I mentioned before, the ear cups are made of soft faux leather that feels soft to the touch and inside has a nice foam cushion so it does feel comfortable. The headband itself is also wrapped in faux leather and padding material, which felt soft and comfy on a bald head. The Studio Pro is coming in at a reasonable weight of 141 grams, which isn't too heavy or too light. Although after prolonged use, like any headphones, these can get a little bit tiring on your head. So as I've been using these headphones over the past few weeks, would I recommend them? Yes, I would. I find them a good value for the money. No, they don't compete with Bose, Beats, Sony, and other major brands, but they do compete well with other secondary brands in the budget market. Things I really liked about the Studio Pro is the EQ settings. It's nice with the touch of a button. You can cycle through different EQ modes without having to fiddle with software. The sound is clear and booming, and the cloud foam ear cups are soft and comfortable. JLabs makes many different types of headphones from wired gaming, on-ear, earbuds, to noise canceling, and many different price points. 
The Studio Pro is their middle tier headphone that comes in four different colors and provides a good sound and comfort for the price. But with that said, it can't be used wired. When playing music, you will notice sound outside the headphones, even at low volumes. And for me, they became a little uncomfortable on my ears after long periods of use. But if your budget is under $50 and you don't mind some noise bleed, I would definitely give these a try. Well, that was a look at the JLab Studio Pro wireless over ear headphones. I hope you liked it and thank you for staying till the end. Any questions about the headphones, drop them in the comments. If you want to pick one of these up for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for more Shell Tech videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and check out my tech blog at shelltech.org. Thanks for watching.